Hello, in this lecture, we will be seeing the creation of Isilon SMB share. So, the first thing that we will be seeing here is to create how to create an SMB share. So, for that, you will have to go to protocols. So, as we know that Isilon supports multi protocol, it, it supports um, SMB, NFS, HDFS, and uh, uh, all the uh, different protocols that are available are supported by Isilon. So here you can create the SMB share by clicking on Windows sharing option. So once you create here, so you will see an option called create SMB share. So when you click on create SMB share, here it will prompt you to offer the details. So first you will need to give the name. So let me give a test share. And a description as test share. And path. So here it will ask you for a path. So Isilon path will start with the root path will start with IFS nothing but the Isilon 5 system so down the line it will have a folder named data so it's always recommended to create any shares below IFS data folder so when you browse you will get the data and home so home is for the users directory and data will have all the datas so click on data and here we will have a folder so let's say if you want to create a new folder here and make that as a share then just enter the folder name here so i'm just giving ifs data test share so right now there is no folder named test share so i just want to create a new folder named test share so you can just click on the create smb share directory if it does not exist so this option will create a new directory if that particular directory is not exist in my case test share is not there so i have just clicked on this option which will automatically create a new directory when creating a share coming down you have directory acl so acls are nothing but the the permission of windows so just leave that the default do not change existing permissions and coming down you have enable continuous availability on share so ca is nothing but and continuous availability which in which uh, it will be available in terms of um, any kind of failure so we'll be seeing uh, that later so here we'll have the permission <laughs> to add a member or user or group you have to click this add member option and select the member so here you will have an option to select uh, users from different uh, different uh, things like user or group or using the SID <clears throat> so here you can select the provider local or file or if you have added the AD it will show you the AD and just click on search so now you will have a guest and select it and here it will ask you for the permission level so what kind of permission you want to give this user so if you want to give a full permission or if you want to give a read write or if you want to give only a read so here we can specify the level of permission that you want to give and here there is an option called run as a root so you if you give this option then this particular guest user can run as a root in a sense he can take the privilege of root so i am giving a full control permission for this user and adding him so you can see here the guest user is added with permission as full control so that's it and leave the file filtering options and uh, the advanced settings default and now we are going to create a share so once this share is created, we will be able to access this share through the IP of this particular node or usually we should access this particular share using the smart connect zone name 
uh, in our case this simulator does not have any smart connect zone name so i am directly going to access this particular share using the ip of this particular node so, go to the map network drive and type the ip 192.168.17.11 slash the share name is test hyphen share so once done connect using different credentials finish it'll ask you for credential so i'll go with the root one so it's done now let's check that so now we can see the capacity of the test share and it has been mapped here so it's showing the entire clusters capacity so that's it for this lecture we'll see you in the next lecture